the M Performance Shift Knob. This combination of carbon fiber and Alcantara is peak BMW swag, but does it live up to all that hype and that high price tag? Let's find out. What's up everybody, my name is Fritz and welcome to the channel. I'm very excited and very happy to have all of you here with me today as we install the first piece of real carbon fiber in the M235i in the form of the M Performance Shift Knob. And although it might look that my interior already has carbon fiber, truth is, this is actually a wrap. And although it's holding up very well, and the textured feel of the vinyl wrap is also made of a high quality material, when I went to the BMW dealership to pick up a few parts for a retrofit that we have on the way, I made the unfortunate mistake of checking out an M2 with real carbon fiber. Getting into the car with the carbon fiber door handles, with this center trim here in real carbon fiber, and of course, the shift knob in real carbon fiber, just gave that car a premium feel and look but of course if you prefer the soft supple feel of leather and if you want an easier upkeep of your interior then leather is the way to go and this is a little bit heartbreaking for me because the zhp shifter is one that i've sought after ever since i had my first 1996 328is and i crashed it but who knows maybe I'll go back and forth between the two, depending on what I'm looking for out of my shift knob that day, that week, or maybe even that month. But it's time to switch out this shift lever for the M Performance variant. And all that we're really gonna do is just lift up on these tabs here in order to remove that center bezel trim and then lift up on the shifter. It might take a little bit of force. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It really wasn't that hard at all. <sighs> Maybe it's because I have this short shifter here from Turner Motorsports. And if you want probably the shortest shifter with the notchiest feeling and a really solid feel and tactile feedback coming in through the shifter, this is the shifter that I would recommend. Getting on to our shift knob, very simple. Just place it in, lock down the trim, and then push it in. But while we're here, why don't we go for a test drive and see if this actually makes that much of a difference or if it's just all in my head and in my eyes. Let's see what we got. Initial impressions, not bad at all. And pleasantly surprised and happy in the aspects that I anticipated. First off, the NVH, it's pretty negligible. There is a measurable height difference between four and seven millimeters, depending on if you're measuring from the high side to the low side of the ZHP shifter to the M Performance one. I would say probably after a week, that height difference isn't going to matter and the extra nvh is also not going to matter it's probably a tenth of that from a short shift kit the thing that i knew that i would like and the reason why i bought this shifter was the carbon fiber the tactile feedback coming in through the shifter is nice but what i really wanted was the textured feel of the carbon fiber as i'm going in and out of the gears the surprising thing that i like that i just figured it out as i'm talking to you guys is the Alcantara not necessarily on the shift knob but of the boot itself I really didn't think that I would like this just because I don't want to deal with the upkeep of Alcantara and it's a longer process to upkeep compared to leather but now that I have this at the edge of my fingertips I really believe that the leather in the ZHP shifter the leather of the boot and the leather of the knob are different. Most of you know that I got my car salvaged, so maybe for some reason the knob was covered but the boot wasn't. But give your shift knob as well as your shift boot a feel and see if they feel different. The knob itself feels more similar to that of the steering wheel. 
whereas the boot portion feels very brittle, dry, like leather that's just about to crack. And this is much better. While we're on the topic of the ZHP shifter, now that I have the M Performance shift knob to compare it to, I really do believe that that knob, in addition to the leather, has some additional padding in the shift knob in order to reduce some of the sound and vibration coming in through the shifter. If you were to measure it, it would probably be the difference between working out with gloves versus not with gloves. And I just realized it as I just went through my sequence to get into the far left lane here, I do have a strong tendency to put my fingers in the grooves of the lip of the ZHP shifter when I'm going into even gears. And then I also have a tendency to engage my palm in the groove of the rear portion of the shift knob when I'm going into odd gears. And the reason why is because I want to try to exude as little downward force on the shifter as possible. Because of the symmetrical design of the M Performance shift knob, you are going to have to be more conscious when you're going in and out of the gears. I actually do like the two-tone feel on the front portion of the shift knob because if I want a more textured feel going into even gears, I just put my hand or fingers on the carbon fiber. And if I want a more softer experience, then I would just bring my fingers up a little bit and go for the Alcantara. But I don't have that security blanket of a ledge or something to cup my hand when I'm going in and out of the gears. And for all of you who are watching this video, you probably already have your own way of shifting gears. So just know that your hand position when you're going in and out of the gears is probably going to change a little bit. The last big difference I would say, the ZHP just requires less maintenance. In all honesty, I carry a pack of baby wipes in the trunk of my car. And anytime the interior is dirty, I just take out a baby wipe and I just wipe it all down, no problem. I'm not gonna be able to do that with the Alcantara in this case. I'm gonna have to take a vacuum and use a specific cleaner in order to maintain that soft feeling of the Alcantara. Let's go ahead and wrap up this video because at the end of the day, it is just a shift knob. I've pretty much already made my assessment on it. And that is, I'm gonna keep both. Plain and simple, if you're somebody who wants a more textured feel, a little bit more feedback coming in through the shifter as you're going through the gears and you like that Alcantara feel, then the M Performance shift knob is for you. If you're somebody who wants the most comfortable driving experience, a softer driving experience, then the ZHP shift knob is actually a great knob and one that I actually really like still. But if you're getting this shift knob for the extra feedback and responsiveness coming in through the shifter, just for that reason alone, I would point you in the direction of a short shift kit. That is probably going to quell your desires a little bit better than this shift knob. Do the short shift kit first. And then if you still want more, then go for the shift knob. Because a short shift kit, if you want that feedback, you're gonna get it for sure and I can highly recommend the Turner Motorsports short shift kit for the M235i. When I was shopping around for a short shift kit, they actually advertised theirs as the lowest throw reduction at 40%. I don't mind that there's extra effort when I'm shifting the gears. It's more precise in my opinion. I know for sure that I'm going in the gears. I know for sure that the gears have engaged or disengaged, and I enjoy that feeling. So if you want all of that, just do a short shift kit. But I do understand that $250 is a lot of money, especially for a shift knob. In all honesty, if you could pick one up on the used market and just repair the Al Alcantara, then why not? And while we're on that subject, if you guys are thinking about adapting a three or four series shift knob into the two series, you can't do it directly. You would have to remove the staples and swap out the attachment trim that locks the shift boot into place. The threes and the fours are slightly larger, so you would have enough boot coverage if you were going to swap them out. I was actually thinking about getting a used one and just repairing the Alcantara from a buddy of mine. So if you don't mind buying on the used market, then I would say subscribe to the channel and check out the video that comes out tomorrow and see how far we get in the restoration process of the Alcantara on that shift knob. And if there's something that I missed out on this video, please leave those questions down in the comment section below. And I'll see all of you guys in tomorrow's video.